Hi, this is the Chemistry for Biology channel. I'm John Irwin. Our topic today is metabolite docking, and this is uh, the first of three videos on the subject of metabolite docking. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook and YouTube and Twitter, and this work is funded by the uh, grant to John Geralt for the Enzyme Function Initiative. Uh, this work comes to you from the University of Toronto Faculty of Pharmacy, the Brian Schoikert Lab. And so metabolite docking, that's our topic. And so uh, what is metabolite docking and what do you do, why do you do it? So this is a, a diagram of, uh, uh, of molecular docking. And, um, in each, and just like in molecular docking, we're going to use a model of a protein uh, a database of ligands and a program, in this case UCSF dock, and we're going to dock the molecules into the binding site, as shown here, generating multi many different conformations and, and uh, poses in the binding site. And now if you were screening for inhibitors or, or otherwise agonists or antagonists, you would test for uh, a binding in a binding assay. In the case of substrates, what we're looking for is uh, ligands that are actually turned over, uh, so they're metabolized by, modified by the enzyme. And another difference is that we want to screen endogenous metabolites, ligands that occur, small molecules that occur naturally in the cell, because that's what the cell evolved to recognize. Okay, so we're going to use different databases, and we're going to use, um, uh, there's a different question that's going on here, uh, but it's very similar to um, uh, normal docking for an inhibitor discovery. And so we're going to use uh, Doc Blaster, which is the technology we developed uh, based around UCSF Doc for discovering small molecules uh, by molecular docking. And we're going to use the zinc library and the zinc processing pipeline for the small molecules that bind in the binding site and uh, we're going to use metabolites, obviously. Um, and um, another um, aspect of this work is that we're going to try and dock two different kinds of libraries. First, ground state libraries, so small molecules, just as they come out of the bottle uh, in, the, in the assay. And, but we're also going to dock to high-energy intermediate ligands. So these are molecules that have already undergone their first um, step of, of, of catalysis. So an, an initial step has occurred leading to an intermediate uh, metabolite, um, high energy intermediate. And uh, this work is perhaps best typified by uh, the work that it was published by uh, Johannes Hermann and, and co-workers in Nature in 2007. And I've shown here uh, they docked against the uh, protein of unknown function from Thermatoga maritima and they showed that it was a uh, cytosine deaminase based on the ligands that bound to it. And in this case, they docked high energy intermediate forms of, of cytosine. And uh, you can uh, read that paper better than me telling you about it now. Um, two more publications that have occurred fairly recently, uh, 2012 and 2013 are listed here, and these are yet more approaches, again, from the Enzyme Function Initiative, showing how you can find small molecules, how you can um, find the function of a protein by docking small molecule metabolites into the binding site and then testing for uh, the actual turnover in the lab. So I'm going to now give you a demonstration of molecular docking uh, of metabolites using the website we've set up ca called Metabolite docking.org and so you would just simply go to metabolite.docking.org and this is the website and it's part of the it's, this is funded by and is part of the enzyme function initiative and so uh, it's a public service and it's supported by EFI um, it's built on doc blaster and so that's the, the reference for doc blaster and here are three successful examples, so as templates for how you can go about this. And the purpose of this website is to enable you to do the kind of work that's represented in these papers. Um, 
and I'll just give a little uh, advertisement now that we also have a covalent docking website where you can covalently dock metabolites, so that's linked to here. And we also have our regular docking server, the Dock Blaster server, which just screens libraries of commercially available compounds, including metabolites, against um, protein binding sites. And these are protein binding sites either straight out of the PDB or ones that you upload to our website. There's also sample data you can use to test uh, the program. So here is uh, data.docking.org, current benchmarking data, and under metabolite docking test data, you can see that I've taken the file to OGJ, which was misannotated in the uh, databases as either a dihydroorotase or an adenine deaminase, or at least it belonged to a cluster of genes that did those, were thought to do those functions. In fact, it doesn't catalyze either of those reactions. It catalyzes the hydrolysis of acetyl r mandolate uh, and similar esters, which are, in, which are endogenous metabolites. And um, so I'm going to demonstrate using that structure to OGJ. So I'm going to download the original, the uh, PDB structure of the receptor and the ligand. So that is, these are edited versions of 2OGJ, and I'm not going to take you through you know, how to use a text editor to pull that out. Uh, but I'll just say that I've done it before, like a cooking show. Okay, and now we're going to go back here to to um, to the Metabolite Docker website, and we're going to say upload structure right here. Okay, so notice how there's a there's a step that goes from left to right. This is these are all the steps in the docking calculation, and so we're going to start by uploading the structure of the receptor. So there it is, and we're going to upload um, the ligand. The ligand. The purpose of the ligand is to indicate the binding site. Um, so if you didn't have a ligand in your structure, you'd need to either provide us with some residues or maybe just move a molecule in there by hand in a modeling program. But somehow you have to tell us where the binding site is. So all we're going to use this for is uh, the you know the center of mass of these ligand of this ligand to find the the molecule the uh, the binding site, and then uh, we're not going to do anything else. We're just going to say that we're using two OGJ, and it's me doing it, and we're going to do metabolite docking. Okay, so very simple, some sort of memo to ourselves, and then we click on dock, and so this is the job preparation step. It's now going to look at the results that we've uploaded, the scrutinizer. PDB files are complicated things. And so it's going to look at some, do some sanity checks on the file. It generate, it's generated a few warnings. Um, and um, I should probably go and look at those. But for now, it seems to have run the job for us. And so the Doc Blaster job has been submitted. And the job number is this number here, 70788. Okay. So when you click on Browse a Progress Report, click on this link, and it takes you to a website that says now, you see we've gone from the preparer to the scrutinizer to the target preparation is running. So it's not just queued, it's actually running. It's, been only, it's only been running for 21 seconds, and it might take 30 minutes. So this is going to be the end of part one of a three-part video uh, showing us how uh, we uh, do uh, metabolite docking uh, through a website. So it's going to finish target preparation. It's going to do some calibration by docking some molecules into the binding site as a kind of a sanity check on the docking parameterization. And then in the sec in part two, we're going to launch a docking screen of a library, provided that the preliminary docking worked okay. Okay. So uh, I've just shown you metabolite docking. Uh, so as I said, this is uh, metabolite docking is a three-part video. This was part one, setting up a docking project. Uh, next is part two, which is when we actually run the metabolite docking database screens, and we also look at the uh, calibration results to make sure that the docking looked okay. And then in part three, we'll analyze the results of the full database screens of metabolite uh, database uh, docking. And again, we'll do it for two different kinds of databases for metabolites that are in ground state form, so just like they come out of the bottle, but also high energy intermediate that anticipate various 
uh, chemical reaction steps. So metabolite docking is available. Uh, there are two kinds of libraries for docking, two very different kinds of libraries, ground state metabolites, high energy intermediates. We also have covalent docking and regular docking. Uh, the service is free to use, it's funded by NIH, and sample data are available. And so thank you for your attention and see you again soon on this channel.